The Christie administration has been taking some heat for the latest revenue reports. Democrats in the legislature seem to be saying, I told you so, after hearing from the state treasurer. What about the Republicans? Joining us now from the State House is the Assembly Republican Budget Officer, Declan O'Scanlan. Assemblyman, good of you to join us. Were you surprised at all by the revenue estimates uh, that the uh, treasurer has given and, and the gap between what was anticipated and what is being collected? Not particularly. We knew what, you know, what was going on pretty much. Uh, it didn't take a, a, a real divining of tea leaves uh, to know that we're not going to have an easy road probably for a number of years. We've got some big obligations that we need to take care of. We are already making the largest pension payments in our history, and those will ramp up, continue to ramp up over the next few years, swallowing a lot of growth. Uh, so we've got challenges. We know that. The governor has stressed that over and over again. Uh, and as far as revenue goes, uh, look, a number of areas that of revenue overperformed, which was nice. Uh, last year, we heard sky is falling predictions from some of my friends on the other side of the aisle, specifically regarding income tax projections of the administration. And we exceeded uh, uh, revenue for, for gross income tax. So uh, there's areas we exceeded, there's areas we didn't. Uh, we know we have to deal with these things. When you hear the treasurer say that there's 164 million dollar gap between what was and what is now. And you hear, I guess, Dr. Rosen project a possible gap over the next couple of years of almost, what, some more than 900 million. Well, first of all, what exactly. do you think of the Rosen projections? That, that was adjusted between yesterday and today. He took into account some of the lapses the administration has already had happen, because um, ultimately the administration gets to decide what we'll spend, what we won't spend. Uh, so between yesterday and today, that gap narrowed from 937 million to 700 million. Uh, if we keep up at this pace, uh, the budget will be just fine in a week or so. Uh, <laughs> well, the governor, is, the governor has accused uh, Dr. Rosen again of being political in his estimates. Do you agree? Um, uh, look, my relationship with Dr. Rosen has been a good one. Uh, I know that the governor has had somewhat of a different one, uh, and I respect that. I respect both of them. But my relationship with Dr. Rosen uh, has been a professional one, uh, and I'll leave it at that. Uh, right now, it's a matter of where the, is the revenue going to end up, and I have confidence in the administration's projections simply because they have been so consistently accurate over the first three years of, of the administration. Uh, they also are willing to deal with any issues that we might have. This governor, uh, in case no one has noticed, is very uh, more than willing to deliver news, good or bad. Uh, and deal with it. And the people in New Jersey respect that, which is why it has 70% approval ratings. They're ready to hear both good and bad news. Just tell it to them straight, uh, and they'll deal with it. Uh, and this governor will not hesitate uh, to, to let us know as we go how we're doing and make adjustments if we need to. Assemblyman, on that note, have to leave it there. Thank you for coming on, sir. Mike, thank you. Appreciate it.